What I got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walk through the fire, came out better on the other side. See, life's like a beach if you find the sand. And right now, I feel like a hundred grand. You are listening to Inspired Insider with your host, Dr. Jeremy Wise. Dr. Jeremy Weiss here, founder of InspiredInsider.com, where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and founders, like founders, entrepreneurs of P90X. You know, if you look at Tony Horton, he talks about where he actually started to build the $500 million company, Quest Nutrition, and many more, and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Our sponsor today is Rise25.com, where entrepreneurs of six, seven, eight figure businesses come together live and in person every few months to solve their biggest business challenges and leave with lifelong friendships. Check out Rise25.com. It's run by myself and co founder John Corcoran. It's application only. And Ashley will talk a little about her. Um, actual summit retreat event in a little bit. Um, today I'm excited. We have Ashley Drummonds, founder of Abs Protein Pancakes. She's been featured on Shark Tank, the Home Shopping Network, Forbes, and many more. In over two years, she sold more than five hundred thousand dollars worth of pancake mix. And it's not just pancake mix, but it's you'll talk about it. But Ashley, thanks for joining me. A year you went from zero to over six figures with it. Um, so I want to talk about that for a second. Um, what worked best for you uh, for that? And then I want to talk about post Shark Tank and, and what happened. Yeah, so one of the things that we always get asked is, were you successful before Shark Tank or did Shark Tank make you successful? Yeah. And the biggest thing is, like you said, from before a year hit. So we went on Shark Tank right around our year marker. Before that, though, we had already hit six figures. Yeah. Shark Tank, I say, has a huge power and like a huge effect on your business. But I think more importantly, what it does is it just sets things into motion faster. Mm -hmm. So it basically amplifies what you're already doing in your business. So from month one to getting and airing on Shark Tank, the biggest thing that worked for me is I didn't know anything about online marketing. I didn't know anything about email, social media marketing, but I'm really good at observing and following trends. And so when I first started the pancakes, I mean, before I had packaging, before I had a website or anything like that, I I mean, Instagram, for example, Instagram, Facebook, all these social media platforms, seeing how many like likes would come through, how much engagement I was getting on my own personal stuff just by using like one hashtag. Like if I made a post and didn't put any hashtag, and then the next post I put like hashtag fitness and then it's like, oh, you have a hundred. 150 likes now Mm. I saw the free marketing that came from that because in the beginning nobody really unless I mean you have like a huge capital investment nobody has the money to spend on thousands of dollars of advertising you're bootstrapping yeah right yeah you're doing what you can so I picked onto that very quickly and I started coming up with a campaign schedule for myself and I mean the whole like the followers don't know this but I knew like psychologically people get used to seeing content at certain times of the day and if it's not there you kind of lose those customers so I was doing 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. every single day. Twice a day when people are up in the morning, eating breakfast, scrolling through social media. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, and at night, well, you ask yourself, like, when am I on my phone looking at social media? And then at night, you get home from work, you're either having dinner or you're watching the news or whatever, scrolling on social media. So 6 a.m., 6 p.m., and I mean, I was so obsessive about it. Like, we... My boyfriend would always make fun of me because I would be laying in bed. I'm like, it's 6.15. I got to make my post. And he's like, oh, my God. I'm like, I got to get it up there. But right. so I did that. That's great. Yeah. A self-imposed yeah. deadline because they're expecting it. Yeah. Right. Exactly. And a lot of people do it with email marketing. It just depends on your demographic. Like with mine, with the fitness industry, I know social media is Pictures. huge. Pictures. Yeah. People. Yeah. Yes. They're going to respond to a social media post way more than they're going to respond to an email. Um, but so I did that. 6 a.m., 6 p.m. every single day. And then one of the other huge things which helped a lot is I actually took the time to research trending hashtags specifically to my demographics. So mm. what are the top 10 fitness hashtags, That's nutrition awesome. hashtags? Yeah. yeah. And then the pancake. I love to hear this stuff because people think, oh, it just land like you put it out there and you just started it just selling. Right. I mean, the reality is there's a lot of uh, hustle and work yes. and grind that goes into it. There's Well, I think the biggest thing is like, even now, like there's other things that we're working on launching now. And it's like, the work is simple. It's the discipline and the consistency to continue to do it every single day. It's like that with anything in life. Like Mm -hmm. same thing with fitness. You don't just wake up with a six pack. It's the consistency of what you're doing. Right. 
So research the hashtags. And even now I have a note in my phone of the hashtags that I use yeah. from day one that now, fortunately, now I have a social media manager. But even to this day, like we use the exact same hashtags we use in the beginning and it just continues to grow. So yeah. that was the second thing that I did that really grew yeah. things. Third thing, like I said, I was never afraid to be told no or I didn't care about what people thought. So I reached out to other brands who had similar um, markets or customers as I did. Yeah. Like one of our great friends and a good brand that we've aligned with is like Detour Bar and Kill Cliff and Natural Grips. Like all these people that are making a positive impact in the fitness industry. Yeah reach out to them and just like offer like, Hey, do you want to do a cross promotion? Like, like right now we do that even to this day. Yeah, I think uh, I saw the, uh, the kill clip somewhere on your site. Yeah. Yeah. Kill cliff is a great brand. And I mean, it's a product that I use myself and so many people in the fitness industry use, but like, for example, they have a great replacement yeah. coffee drink. Yeah. That's natural. It's good for recovery and we have pancakes. So we're like, Hey, let's do coffee and pancakes. Yeah. This will be great. So, I mean, that yeah. from the very beginning, though, like I, I think I have a good introduction for you, actually. So remind <laughs> me afterwards. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, but like somebody I was doing another podcast and like one of the things is somebody asked of like, how do you aren't you scared to reach out to? But like if I had 100 followers and this brand has 100,000, were you scared? And yeah. I mean, honestly, logical question. I mean, it's scared. Yeah. I don't know if it's scared, but like why is it's not an even, you know, even exchange. Right. Aren't you, know. you intimidated? Like, why would they help you? And honestly, like, I think it's your approach. If you come across expecting things to be handed out to exactly. you. Exactly. You just yeah, want to then, deliver value to them. Right. Then no. Yeah. Like, I have people that reach out to me now and it's like, this is like such a copy and paste email. Like, you're not even taking the time to, like, be sincere in what you're saying. So I think people respond to just be yourself and, like, be honest. Like, it's so far and few between the people who actually take the time to write an email or pick up the phone and right. things like that. Right. And I'll always respect somebody who gives right. me the time of day for the relationship other than just like some email broadcast that you sent out right. to me. Right. So, it so seems I mean, so simple, but unfortunately right. it's, it's all too common. Well, and I think that's the thing too, is like people forget that all of these brands started exactly where you're starting. So if you're honest, your story and you explain like this is who I am this is what yeah. I want to do but also give them the respect of I value your brand this is why I connected with you because I love your messaging things like that yeah even if it's one post like most brands even now like I've had people reach out who have like 300 followers but if it's a similar message they have a good customer service process and it's something that like I feel like would be a good alignment for the brand yeah yeah we'll do we'll exchange some product we'll take some of your product take a picture and make a post like that has built the brand so much of just strategic alliances yeah. with other brands. But also, I mean, coming back to actually caring about your customers, caring yeah. about your product, caring about your business, like that it's the basics. Like it sounds like you said, it sounds so simple, but people get so caught up and when you get so big, so fast and all this stuff, it's like, you don't even know, do you know one customer's name? Do you know like one thing that they love? Yeah. Have you seen any of their, and even yesterday, it's funny because I was texting my social media girl because we were getting all these tags on Instagram and she wasn't going through commenting like, hey, thank you so much for sharing this. And so I did it and I was like, hey, don't forget, like make sure you show appreciation for the people the who individuals. are representing your product. Yes, yeah. these are people that are basically sharing the love for your product. So I think it just comes down to that and that's what's always worked. Yeah. No, Ashley, thank you. That's worth its weight in gold. I mean, the cross, finding the products and cross promotion, just reaching out to people who are doing what mm -hmm. you want to do. Um, and Talk about the behind the scenes, the infrastructure, right? So the software okay. and the stuff that you you use, like yeah. um, the shopping cart or the the software <laughs> platform. What? Because th there's a whole technology side of this, oh, right? Yeah. You're not just you're the entrepreneur. You're running the business. You're the salesperson, and now you are the yeah. chief technologist. So what are some of oh, the things gosh, you yeah. have in place for that? Well, so first off, I feel like there's the whole analogy of like what is it? Paralysis analysis. Yeah. People get so caught up in starting up and there's a hundred thousand different apps you can use and things like that. But specifically, so there's two things I would say. If you have a physical product, like the pancakes where like people, you're taking customer information and you're shipping them something, mm -hmm. Shopify hands down yeah. has been the best thing in I the world. I thought it looked like a Shopify, yeah. It is. And I've used other platforms, but Shopify, their yeah. customer service. I mean, you can call somebody and you'll 24 get- 24 hours a day. Game. 
Yes. Yeah. They are on the other line like, yeah, sure. Let me help you through this. Walk you through this. And they're always like willing to help. So Shopify is the e- – plus they are the most easy to integrate with any other platform. Like hmm. with my fulfillment center that I have, sometimes it can get hard with API keys and all these different coding and whatnot. Shopify is so easy with just – it doesn't matter who you use. They'll integrate with it. They'll integrate with Amazon, whatever. So I would say Shopify for a shopping cart. Yeah. Um, on the back end, so like – Capturing customer information, follow up marketing, follow up just value of content and things like that. I actually use Aweber as my email marketing. I like platform. Aweber. Yeah. Yeah. Aweber is a good one. It's, I mean, there's so many of them. And like, I've heard good things about MailChimp, right. there's right. Click Funnels, like all this stuff. But I mean, I've had Aweber since the beginning. And in all honesty, it's because I'm lazy with email marketing and I don't want to learn a whole other platform. Yeah. Yeah. But and yeah. it's simple. It's not all these complicated. It's, it's very straightforward. Right. So you have Shopify, Web, or any other key tools or softwares that you, you use on a daily or weekly basis? Yes. Um, all of social media marketing is ran through Hootsuite. Hootsuite, okay. Yeah, to schedule it out just because it gets – that way you're not logging in and out of five different platforms. You can yeah. schedule – limitlessly for months and months on advance. So yeah, Hootsuite yeah. is great. And I think it's only like $9 a month. So even yeah. if you're in startup, it's good. Yeah. There's a bunch. I mean, Buffer people use, Edgar people use, Meet Edgar yeah. people use. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think. So yeah, Hootsuite, Shopify, Aweber. Um, on the, that's on the pancake side. On the other side, so like I have the site AshleyDrummonds.com. Yes. Um, that's got a lot of content. That's all WordPress. I don't have to use anything with mm-hmm. that because mm-hmm. WordPress has so many things already built into it that I think WordPress, if you're not doing physical products, you're doing digital products, that's the best way to go. Yeah, yeah. You can, I mean, you can just continue to add and add and add and add and it's so easy to use. Yeah. So many questions, so little time, Ash. I'm looking up. We that's have three okay. minutes. I'm like, we haven't talked about HSN. We haven't talked about Shark Tank <laughs> that much. Um, it's okay. So I guess talk about post Shark Tank for a second. What ended up happening? So you had so, six months of, of uh, inventory. Right. So within, uh, like I told you before, we can't say exact numbers. Sure. But so within like a week of the, the airing, because you have like four different time zones, I think that it airs through. And then you have like the trickle effect of like if it was on a Friday, people DVR, watch it Saturday, right, Sunday, Monday. Right, right, right. Um, so for that week, they always say, like, you can really figure out your launch the seven days from your air date. I think we did our entire previous year's mm. revenue in wow. that week. Wow. So, Congrats. I mean, that's, that's awesome. just because of the exposure. That has nothing yeah. to do with, like, Damon, the stuff he's done since then. That's just from airing. Yeah. Um, we ended up getting a deal with Damon John, yeah. FUBU founder, and it's been great. Like, honestly, there's a lot of different things. Some people have, they, cause you don't know, you're not allowed to talk to other entrepreneurs about their investor. You're not allowed to talk about your experience. That's all the confidentiality agreements. Yeah. But some people, they talk about how their investor is very hands off. They just kind yeah. of like are there if you need them. Damon's team is very hands on. I mean, every yeah. week I'm getting emails every time an opportunity comes up that aligns with the abs brand, they send it over to us. Like that's great. And they, the very first thing that they aligned us with was HSN. That was a month or so after mm. the Shark Tank airing. So it was like airing on Shark Tank, HSN, like things just taking off like crazy. Yeah. yeah, it's been amazing. And I mean, even now, like we're doing a launch with Zoo Lily next week because of them. So it's been awesome. What's um, some good advice you've gotten from Damon? Um, hmm. You know, actually, it's nothing like huge and like anything new epiphany wise. I mean, the guy knows a ton, but I mean, honestly, like he sent us an email, I think it was last week and it was just something so simple of like, hey, don't forget the process that you came through with Shark Tank by supporting other entrepreneurs. The whole thing was just like supporting Shark Tank, like sharing this platform that has given us such leverage and just remembering to give back. And that. so his whole message was just about, hey, even though like I know we're all growing and we're getting exposure and we're busy in our businesses let's remember where we came from and continue to share that moving forward it was the whole pay it forward analogy so i mean i think it's just refreshing to see somebody on like his success level who's got so much going on but to still come back down to a humble beginning of like hey don't forget keep paying it forward to everybody else yeah so last question ashley since we're right at the the time uh thank you so much first of all um I always ask, since it's Inspired Insider, what's been the lowest point in the business and what's been the highest point for you? 
Well, highest point I would say has been Shark Tank. Yeah. Shark Tank, everything that's come from Shark Tank has been the highest point. And I think like it just continues to get better and better. And especially now, like now because of the platform that Shark Tank has given, it now gives us these opportunities like talking to kids at schools and now mm. like helping women with their businesses and whatnot. Mm. So, I mean, that all, those are all high points. The lowest point for me, it wasn't necessarily, I mean, it wasn't necessarily in the business, like something bad had happened was I had moved out to California by myself. And I remember like, I didn't have a co-packer lined up. All these orders were coming in. I knew I had to fill some of them on my own. And I mean, I would like no family, no friends, no employees. It was that like defining moment where you're just like, it is just me. I'm either going to fail the lonely right world. now. <laughs> yes. I'm going to fail right now and I'm going to sit here in a corner and just cry about how I'm terrible at life or I'm going to really step into who I truly am and my strength. Yeah. And I think that was like, I don't know, I think everybody has those moments multiple times in their life where like this is the point where you either step up and move forward or you're yeah. going to completely fall apart. And I remember yeah. like sitting there and I probably cried and had wine way too much that week to try and deal with all of right. it. But I remember feeling like very just exhausted and I don't know if I can do this and is this really gonna be everything that I think it is or am I just like making up something in my mind and of course like that day I was like I just need to go work out and I would go work out right. and then as soon as the I was savior. done I was like yeah. all right I'm ready like I can do this so I think right. that would be the lowest point is especially like people don't understand how lonely being an entrepreneur can be sometimes when you don't have anybody else that's like helping you in this big dream and vision that you have and I think that just staying true to like your goal and your mission and plus, I mean, it's so important to reach out to other people yeah. that I think is like the overall message that I had and that other people have said is it's like, what do you do when you're lonely? And it's like, you just got to keep going, Eat pancakes. You just keep moving forward, keep eating pancakes. It's fine. <laughs> Ashley, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Everyone should check out abs pancakes.com abs pancakes.com anywhere else they should we should point people towards online to check um, you out yeah. or or you know the the product yeah well if anybody has kids or any women who are wanting to learn how to build their own businesses check out ashleydrummonds.com because that's like yeah. my other passion we'll product. link that up also yeah, yeah. ashley it's d-r-u-m-m-o-n-d-s yes dot com yep yeah yeah ashley thank you so much fantastic yeah thank you for having me it's been so fun yes what i got you can't buy it resides between my eyes walk through the fire came out better on the other side see nice like a beach if you find the sand right now i feel like a hundred grand